I told you many times the symbol of Lakshmi was created really beautifully and it was so that she came out of the water. Through the water she came out, so clean. And she has no pride. She doesn't assert herself, she doesn't put her pressure on others. But human beings are just opposite. If they have money, they ride on a horse all the time, they cannot come down. It's impossible to talk to them. So, a person who has money is not a one who is worshipping Lakshmi. She stands on a lotus, that she takes all her weight within herself in the same way. We have to suck in all the weight of money, weight of your positions, weight of your so-called education, weight of some aristocratic family you are born of. This is all nonsense, which makes you a heavy person to go down very fast. So she stands or fruits, in a way, on the lotus. And what a thing is beautiful, is lotus, that she doesn't disturb any petals of the lotus, nothing, she just stands peacefully, in a balance. Her centre of gravity is so balanced that she cannot topple down. You must be grounded in the Mother Earth, into the practical side of it. It's nothing, something we are hanging in the air, but we are grounded in the Mother Earth. And the slightest thing happens to us, again we come back to our balance. So this is her position when she stands up in the lotus. Now she has a hand, one hand like this, one hand like this. And there are two hands which have got again the lotus as the pink ones. Yesterday you saw the pink. Pink is her fragrance, I think, is spread on the sky. Her nature is pink. Pink is inviting, is loving. She is a very fond hostess that she wants everybody to come in, in her house. But if you see a rich man, he'll have ten dogs outside and nobody can come inside the house. So the house is closed, the doors are closed, everything closed, money is closed permanently. So such a person cannot be called as Lakshmi Pati. He's not a Lakshmi Pati because he must have a cozy, beautiful, cozy, again I say cozy house. Cozy doesn't mean like a hospital. Anything drops, you feel frightened. Oh my God, let me pick it up. Cozy means where you are comfortable, it's all right. We have to be not to this extreme or that extreme, but something that will give joy to others, to visitors, to people who come to your house, will soothe the sick. People should feel happy to come to your house. So there's no showing off, not to show off, but to make them comfortable, and very happy. So the basic, subtle point is that, that with your love you are encouraging everyone, you are helping everyone, you are creating a confidence in him, his personality, and a kind of a report which is very subtle. You are not there to point out the bad points, but you are there to cover all the bad points, all the loopholes with your love, that's your job. And there you have to be honest. The honesty is for yourself, not for others. Keep that honesty to yourself because maybe it's rational and maybe that it is just a matter of habit that you are trying to hurt others. So first check on your mind and find out 
If you are trying to hurt others or you are trying to please others, otherwise don't talk, just keep quiet. If you are going to say something to please others, talk, otherwise just don't talk. And you'll be surprised when you say nice things to others, how niceness comes to you. Now another thing is that the suggestion is of the left hand, is like this, means she's giving. A person who has money must give, but so secretly that this hand should not know, it's so far away, this one. This hand should give, just secretly. Sometimes it's difficult to give money to anyone. I find it difficult because I find it that people will not like it. So there is a way of giving. There are so sweet ways of giving. Just try to notice what that person likes. So there should be a feeling of giving at the right time, at the best opportune moment. That is also one thing just like a cameraman knows when to click. In the same way you must know where to click when giving is concerned. It should not be sensational, but it should be elevating and that helps the person. Because whatever you give for spiritual growth is the one that is the best thing that you can give to anyone, even in material things. There are so many ways, if you want to think about it, of giving someone something, that spiritually he feels comforted, he feels happy and joyous. For Sahaja Yogis it's very easy to handle their money with respect. Have something, it should have a value behind it. That is the dharma part. Anything that has an artistic value or some special value, then you should buy that. You want to give to something to others, then the feelings you have in your heart is the value and that value is the real Lakshmi. So if your Lakshmi is, say, this much, once you add to it value, it becomes so. The another hand is like this. This hand is shown that you have to protect, you have to protect. We have to protect our children, we have to protect our wives, we have to protect our husbands. Whatever is good, whatever is beautiful, produced, created by anyone, even by a child, must be protected. You must have feelings for them. So what we have to protect here is the goodness, is the peace. You must protect a person who is virtuous, very important. But you must see things, you must be informed, well informed, especially the ladies must be very well informed. It's very important because what I find ladies in Sahaja Yoga, they come, they just jump in the sea and finish that, that's not the way. You must learn how to swim, you must know how to make others also to swim, to protect them. You must know everything that's going on in this world where you are born. You have to put your attention to all these things, especially the women must know their shaktis. Their shakti is of love, of attention. So this protective speciality has to be with us. The sign of a person who is Lakshmi Pati is this. He should have a house like the lotus in the hands, of the Goddess, he should protect people who are depending on him and from the left hand he should give. This is the image of the Lakshmi. This is what the Lakshmi is within you. If you have these four things in balance, without conditioning, without ego, then you are a surgeon. Otherwise, you are not. So this is the beauty of Sahaja Yoga is that you become really a great personality. But this is not the end of it. This is only the Lakshmi principle, I told you. 
when in a human being. The desire to rise higher comes in, the Lakshmi principle becomes the Mahalakshmi principle. In the awareness, it acts on the matter like aesthetics, people uh, worry more over as about aesthetics than about possessions. And when they start growing higher and higher in their awareness of seeking, then they find that the attention should be such that they should pay more importance to the aesthetics of things than to the gross, gross values. Now when this desire becomes evident in the human beings, then only Lakshmi incarnates as Mahalakshmi. Thus the Mahalakshmi's greatest greatness is that through her power only the Sushumna is covered by Kundalini. She is the power of our evolution and by her power only we have risen to be human beings. She looks after all our well-being. She is the one who looks after all our problems of redemption. She is the one who gives us all the possible help in our chakras and correction of them. And she is the one who gives us all that is material or uh, physical well-being. She is the one who relates us to our brain. The whole brain system is Mahalakshmi system. So it is she who exposes the whole of the knowledge as truth to us on so, our central nervous system. In the sense, she is the bridge, but the Kundalini rises over the bridge. So she is the Redeemer and she connects you to God. Once this Lakshmi principle covers you up, then the Mahalakshmi principle starts. Is that you think of the world as a great challenge to you, that you have to give the Mahalakshmi principle, that you have to uh, give them realization. You have to raise them up. And this principle, once starts working in the Mahalakshmi principle, then all the problems are your own. You have to start working it out. So, out of the Lakshmi principle, I hope you get all the tattvas, all the principles satisfied in you fully and also the Mahalakshmi principle flows through your being. You have to be very satisfied and comfortable people. It should be a personality which is above everything else. Such a beautiful personality you should have is the depth of the sea and the height of the Kailasa. This Mahalakshmi principle, when it is awakened within you, then you get out of a Lakshmi principle which makes you a little selfish, maybe self-centered, and you get into a new dimension of searching, of searching the higher value system, something beyond, without any limitations. And that Mahalakshmi principle is really nothing in essence, if you see, is nothing but you are seeking the universal love. In the essence it is that. Because this process of loving is the greatest joy-giving thing. The Worry should be one, why can't I love everyone as I love myself? I tell you only this, universal love will give you that confidence and that higher status. All the great poets, William Blake or anyone, Whatever they have done, it's just because they have this universal love and they want to express it. Why not you do it? So if you want your Mahalakshmi principle to be all the time burning, then please see that you love each and every Sajogi. That's the message today. I hope you'll understand that. May God bless you.